This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to graph parabolas. And we're going to take a look at equations that are going to be written in vertex form. All right, so let's start out with our first example. One type of equation has x being squared. And for this example, we're going to take a look at it, a problem where x is being squared. So when the x is being squared, it means that our parabola is either open up or it's open down. And it depends on this number right here. OK, well, this number is negative, so it tells us that the parabola is not open up. It's open down. OK, so we know that's the case. We also know that these numbers have special significance. They relate to the vertex. Well, first of all, let's write down what the vertex is. Well, the vertex is just going to be the opposite of these values. Since this value is by the x, I'm going to take the opposite of it, and it's going to be our x value of the vertex. This value is by the y, so I'm going to take the opposite, and it's going to be the y value of our vertex. All right, this means that the vertex of our parabola is at negative 2, 3. So I'm just going to make this crude drawing of an x-axis and a y-axis. And I'm going to go two spaces to the left. And I'm going to go three spaces up. And there we have it. We know that that is the location of the vertex. Since the x is being squared, like I said, that either means it's open up or it's open down. Well, in the case of the negative value here, I know it's open down. OK, now, again, I don't know where it's crossing the x-axis. This is just a total, uh, just a sketch, a very crude sketch. I don't know where these zeros are. Um, I don't know the width of it quite yet. It's just to get a general idea of what the shape of this parabola uh, is. All right, now let's take this value, this negative 12. This negative 12 has significant value. Um, it has significance, that is, because I'm going to set it equal to 4p. And I'm going to solve for p. And in a moment, I'll explain to you the why we need to know this value p. So whatever value this is, you just set it equal to 4p. Do a little algebra, and we're going to get negative 3. All right, so that means I go from the vertex. I'm going to go three units down. Some people have a hard time remembering. Hey, do I go three units up or I go three units down? It's real simple because the uh, branches of the parabola want to hug the focus. It's like wrapping, it's like a top view of the, someone about to give someone a hug. These uh, branches hug the focal point. Okay, so we know that three units away, actually going three units down, is the location of our focal point. Now if we go three units in the opposite direction, this is where I'm going to draw a line. This line is called the directrix. Okay, it's the directrix. This is the focus, which is at, hmm, let's see, we said that that would be two units to the left, up zero, and we know our vertex we already have over there. The vertex is negative two, three. What's the equation of this directrix? Let's see, it's up one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's y equals six. So we know everything we really need to know about this parabola. We got the vertex, we got the focus, directrix. Now I knew the placement of these, um, the foci, or, the, or in this case the focus, in the directrix because I'm making use of a property of parabolas, and that is that any point on the parabola is equidistant uh, to the focus and the directrix. So I imagined this little distance here, which is specifically called the p-value, that's the distance between the focus and the directrix. Well, then I knew that it has to be the same distance. If this is 3, then the other distance here also has to be 3. That's how I knew to go 3 units in the other direction to get the directrix. All right, there's our first example. Let's get to another example. For our second example, I'm now going to change up the equation. I'm going to use a different letter here. 
I should say I'm squaring a different letter. All right, so in this case, I know that the y is being squared, so that means that our parabola is either open left or it's open right. So in order to figure out which way it's open, we take a look at this value. That's going to tell us everything. All right, so when it comes time to graphing, I might as well start by drawing a very crude looking y-axis and x-axis. First, I'm going to find the vertex. And in this case, I'm going to take the opposite of this value. And since it's next to the x, it's the x value of our vertex. Take the opposite of this value. Since it's by the y, it's the y value of our vertex. All right, again, I'm going to take the uh, value that's right there, and I'm going to set it equal to 4p. Solve. I get 2. All right, let's figure out how this plays into the graph. So first we'll graph this. We go 1 to the left. We go 4 up. Put a point. Okay, so now we got to figure out, is our parabola open up to the right, or does it open up to the left? Well, since our p-value here is positive, also this value is positive, it tells me that the parabola is open to the right. If it was negative, it would be open the other way. I don't know where it's going to hit the x-axis. I don't know what the y-intercepts are. This is just, again, a crude sketch. All right, but I can find the exact placement of the focus. The focus is always two units away from the vertex. Two is being this p-value. Okay, so which way do I go two units left? Do I go two units right? Again, the focal point's always going to be inside the branches. So I'm going to go, let's see, from here I'm going to go one, two units over, and there's the focal point. Okay, so there's our focus, which is hmm, one, four. We've got our vertex. Our vertex right there is equal to negative 1. Oops. Let's try doing that the right way. Negative 1, 4. Okay, now we figure out what is the equation of the directrix. Well, if we went two units to get to the focus, we're going to go two units over in this direction to get the directrix. There it is. Okay, so what's the equation of this directrix? It's 1, 2, 3. That would be x is equal to negative 3. And there you go. So we got our directrix, vertex, focus, and the curve sketched. And we use this equation to do all that. So make sure you go to mathguide.com. Uh, check out our other uh, interactive quizzes, instructional videos, and text-based lessons. Take care.